Hey everyone, it's the Mouse Sorcerer here. I'm sure you've heard of minimalism, right? You hear about these people who uh, are out there in the world and they have like one spoon and like one bowl and they live in this tiny apartment and they have almost nothing. They call themselves minimalists. Well, in this video, I want to talk about how all mathematicians are basically minimalist to some extent. If you think about it, mathematics is one of the few professions left in the world where all you need is a piece of paper that to write on, a pencil, and your mind. If that is not the definition of minimalism, then I don't know what is, right? I mean, it's just you and a piece of paper and a pencil and your mind, and you can do it anywhere, right? When you create mathematics, that, that's all you need. Mathematicians often use books. As you can see, I have tons of books uh, behind me. So here I am talking about minimalism, and I'm surrounded uh, by all of these books. So it's different, though, right? I mean, people today spend you know, $7 or $6 on a Starbucks coffee. They buy really fancy cars. Everyone has a cell phone. I mean, we spend a lot of money. I think people today spend more money than they used to spend you know, 20, 30 years ago. But in math, all we need are, are the bare essentials. So I think that in essence, all mathematicians are minimalists to, to some extent, right? I mean, it's not to say I don't have a cell phone. I definitely have a cell phone. Many people have iPhones on their mathematicians, right? So, but as a profession in general, I think that mathematicians are maybe minimalist. So maybe all those minimalists out there should start doing some math, right? Maybe we can send a message uh, to the world of minimalism that mathematics is minimalism to, to some extent and to a very pure extent indeed. What do you think? Do you think mathematicians are minimalists? Let me know in the comments below.